Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch. This is the place where we enjoy experimenting with whiskey and food. Your host today is South Africa's whiskey couple, myself Gustav and Elna. And you are watching Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 266. Today, a very interesting whiskey from the Glenfiddich Distillery right here and in the next video we're going to do the Glenlivet code you can see the two gift boxes here behind Elna's head and then we would like to compare the two two of the very interesting whiskies from both the Glenfiddich and the Glenlivet distilleries but today Glenfiddich 20 from the Glenfiddich distillery and this distillery was founded in 1887 it is situated in the Speyside region of the Scottish Highlands and it is owned by William Grant and Sons, Glenfiddich 20. It's written double X, but pronounced Glenfiddich 20. It's a no H statement with a very interesting background. 20 experts from all around the world were asked by the Glenfiddich distillery to each choose one of their favorite or a cask that they enjoyed. Okay. Then they took all of those casks and they vetted them together and they come up with this Glenfiddich 20, part of their experimental series. So matured in different casks, of course. And it's got an ABV of 47%. So a little bit higher than the usual 40 or 43 here in South Africa, which I really appreciate and also non-chill filtered, which I appreciate even more. Where the coloring was added, we don't know. I couldn't find any information about that. But it's a beautiful bottling. I love beautiful the bottle. Yes. And and the black, the black gift box. It is so striking, beautiful. And it immediately draws your attention, as with the Clean Livet code. Also, this black packaging. But that one we'll review in the next, and then thereafter we will compare the two. So, color deep, burnished golden color, although you can't really trust the color, different casks, probably ex-bourbon, ex-sherry, ex-red wine, who knows, different, 20 different casks, then all of them put together, blended or married or vatted together, and then the result this very interesting whiskey. Mm. So I'm expecting mm. it to be complex because of all the different mm. casks. Mm. Slanger on the nose. I'm getting fruity apricots and then orchid blossoms. It feels like you're walking in an, okay. in an orchard um, with pears and apples and apricots. I would fruity. say, um, I would agree with you on the fruity, but fruity cereal. Mm -hmm. I also get dark honey. You see, so the complexity mm. is there, because every time you notice it, there's a different aroma that pops out. Brown sugar. Okay, interesting vanilla. Oak it's shavings. It's got a wonderful nose. Caramel. Nice. And if you do the drop in the palm test, mm. rub it until the alcohol is evaporated, you're left with a rich, fruity brown bread aroma in the palm of your hand. So here we go on the palate. Rich. Mm. Rich is the first word that comes to mind. Mm. Mm. And then toasted cereal with cinnamon dust. Mm. I get chocolate, chocolate covered raisins. I think the fruit will be the raisins, but chocolate covered. But rich, as you say. And then something like a, a butterscotch a sweet something, sauce. Yeah, something sweet, sweet but not overwhelming mm, sweet, mm. but something sweet. There's a crispiness to it, a crispy tannin, which is also on the official website as one of the flavor elements in the flavor profile, which I agree with. Probably good. it's no age state, so it's not, it's a young whiskey. Maybe there's some older whiskies in there as well. 
but there's a youthfulness that I can pick up. And then a sweet candy floss. Mm. Interesting. With the finish. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, it's 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 more, a little bit more sweet, I would say. And then after a while, it's more spicy. So it's it's, it's not that sweet. After it's all a of while. the sweet fruitiness with caramel sort of wrapped in peppery, spicy, oak tannin yes. envelope. That is how I would summarize it. Lingering complex. finish. Definitely complex. The sweet and the spiciness sort of lingering mm. at the back of your the back of your throat almost. The empty glass test, if you finish this and you leave the glass for a couple of hours, leaves you with sweet malt and fruity wine gum aroma in the glass. So that is something interesting that you might want to try. 46%, so we're going to add a few drops of water and see if it releases some more flavor elements, aromas. Maybe it opens up some more because I think, I think if you spend time with this dram, you will discover lots and lots of interesting things. It's got to be left for a while to settle and it's got to be... Look at the legs there on the yeah, glass. Yeah. Because I think there's a lot more to this than one could sort of discover in five minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. Sweet, rich, fruity dessert. Yeah, I would say fruit, fruity candy. Brown sugar. Definitely brown sugar. Hmm. Mmm, this is better. This is better. Mm. Creamy. I'd say it's more creamy than without the water. It's now a little bit more creamy. Sweet cooked fruits in vanilla custard and then the cinnamon again and the nutmeg and the pepper. I would, I'd say it's more peppery in the finish for me. Again, it's the pepper that's yeah, lingering. In the, in the finish, not... Mm. Uh, in the beginning. Creaminess in the beginning, but finish when they finish, I'd say more peppery. So at the end of the mm. day, a drop of water is really important for this to, to open like it. it up yeah. uh, and to, to, for it to reveal yeah. some more of what is, what is in there to be discovered. I would say you need some water. Yes. A bit and expensive for a no-age statement whiskey. Thousand Rand here in South Africa translates okay. to 50 pounds. Okay. So I don't know if this is what I will buy if I have a thousand rand. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. interesting to see what is the result of 20 experts coming oh, together. Yeah. yeah. But uh, will I spend my thousand rand on this particular whiskey? I'm not sure. But a very interesting experiment and interesting to try. Now on the website and on the bottle it says here that you can try it with a flake of sea salt mm, mm. to really appreciate it. So I have got some flakes of sea salt in my little flavor companion plate, platelet. So let's try a flake of sea salt. This is what a, a flake of sea salt looks like. But there's a whole lot more in there. There we go. A flake of sea salt. Let's see what happens. What I'm expecting is that the saltiness in your mouth will enhance the sweet fruity okay. flavor. So let's, let's see. see. Now I'm getting more malt, fruity malt on the, oh, yum. On the nose. More creamy? Oh yeah, definitely more creamy. Definitely more creamy. I like it. I like it with a... It is interesting. With, I've, um, I've never thought of doing that. No. No, I think it's the first time that we... Um, I'm still remember. deciding whether it's really enhancing the fruit flavors, the sweet flavors. The pepperiness is, is still there. Yeah, it's still there, yeah. Sort of... Maybe even more overwhelming. So I took that idea and I thought, 
Let's tone it down a bit with a cream cracker or a, a, a mini pretzel cream cheese and then watermelon slices. So I want to connect with the fruitiness that's in there with the watermelon. The cream cheese will give me that creamy texture so that it's not too overpowering. But here's the trick. I am going to place a sea salt flake in there. So yeah. I've got the sea salt flake yes. now there. So I've got the fruitiness and the sea salt. And this is going to make it very interesting. So I've got a piece here for you. Let's give you a, a, a sea salt flake. So that is your piece over there. And I've got Thank a you. piece here. Thank you. So I've got my watermelon with my sea salt flake. There we go with the cream cheese. And I think this is going to be interesting. Let's see. Let's try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is it, yeah. You need the fruity element mm -hmm. with the salty element. As kids, we used to eat lim and um, oranges mm -hmm. with salt. Mm -hmm. That's so the yeah. fruit and salt concept is not something mm -hmm. foreign to me. No, no. As well, I think this works better. Yeah. Oh, this works better. You need yeah. the cream cheese to just to yeah. tone, tone down, down the yeah. pepperiness. Yeah. But then the fruity, this mm. with the salt, I like it. There we go. We yeah. found a good flavor companion for experimental series um, project Glenfiddich 20. There we go. Experimenting with whiskey and food here at the Whiskey Couch. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Hope to see you in the next video. Glenlivet code. Until then, slanger. Slanger. <laughs>